Uncle Mark here, welcome to my channel. If you're new to the channel, special hello to you too. Just wanting to go on a little trip with our fifth wheel RV and I, if you know the story, we bought it used. It's uh, 2008, we're 2021 right now. And so far, some weird things we've had to fix on it. And I'm thinking whoever owned it before was not a fixer. Met him, couldn't really tell, never asked a whole lot of questions. Probably should have asked him this question, if you ever lube the uh, wheel bearings. Anyway, let's take a look at it. It looks like it has an easy lube system. I don't know exactly what brand it is, but uh, we'll show you how to do it anyway. It should be fairly easy. One thing I want to note though is, uh, as I was editing it, I should have let a lot more grease come out. You'll see how it works. Probably should have had at least, you know, a good golf ball size extra grease come out, the old grease. So you don't want the old grease really in there. No point in that. Anyway, let's get to the video. It's pretty easy to do. You just need, well, I use the floor jack, a grease gun uh, with some grease in it. And I'm thinking, I only used maybe a tube and a half, but I didn't get all the grease out. Uh, some are saying you might use three tubes to do four wheels. It's not very expensive. Let's take a look. As everything, I made my own wheel covers. It's it's called Coreplast. It's like plastic cardboard. They make signs of them, and that's what it was. It was a used sign from somewhere. I just had a little hook on top there to hook it. There it is there. Uh, and the bottom, I just used a piece of copper, copper pipe, just then it kept it rigid. Floor jack is what I used here. I think it was the safest. And I just mounted it under one of those U-clamps, U-bolts. I want to make sure everything's safe. You'll see uh, close up here how this is. Ooh, sorry guys. Where I'm sitting this just for the way I'm going to do it. Shouldn't roll off of there. So it shouldn't roll anywhere anyway. Got it on jacks on four corners. Plus, wouldn't hurt probably to chalk some of the wheels. So this should just lift the one axle on one side. But the trailer may go up a little bit too, so... I just wanted it so that the wheel would spin a little bit. You'll see why in a minute. So it spins pretty easy. On this one it's got the, I don't know what brand this is, but they call it like an easy greaser or easy lube. It's got a little rubber cap on the end and then it's got a grease nipple there. Now I'm going to take this off. This doesn't need to be done like this, but I just like it off because then I can see what's going on. Take that off and I'm going to knock this little cap off the end. If you look really close, you'll see there's a little edge. I'm going to clean it up here a little bit. I'll show you a little close up. It's right in there, so if you can get a small screwdriver in there, and it's smaller than the screwdriver, so I'm just going to tap a little bit. And if you turn the wheel and kept tapping around, it would come off. This is taking a little while, so I figure I'm just going to tap this. And I'm kind of, as I tap, I'm going to tap and hit towards me like that, just in a quicker motion. And you'll see that it's starting to come off. I'm not hitting it very hard, because this thing's just aluminum or aluminium or some light metal. So it probably damage. I didn't damage it, but it wouldn't take much. Oh, maybe I did damage it a little bit. I was just checking for play to make sure that it didn't need just a slight tightening. Now it looks like you just have to hook your grease gun up there and start pumping away. Now I was thinking like if it's already ha uh, full of grease in there, how much grease is it going to take? Let's make sure everything's clean. And grease is going in there. Grease gun kind of felt kind of funny. I have to buy some more grease. It helps to spin it while you're injecting the grease. So hopefully, if you had a second person to slowly spin it, and they were careful not to get caught under the wheel as it's spinning. <laughs> so that's what I kept doing. Try and give it a little spin, give it a couple squirts. Give it a spin, give it a couple squirts. It's going to take a little while, but I'm glad I did it because it 
grease should be coming out if the seal on the back of the axle isn't wrecked. Just so it's just starting to come out now. It probably took like a hundred squirts or shots per wheel to get some grease coming out. I probably should have let more come out, but I figured, well, it's starting to come out. In fact, looking at this now, I'm thinking probably should have let a lot more grease come out just because then there would be no old grease at all. The grease will flow a lot easier too if you're turning the wheel and they suggest you turn it, so. Like I say, you see my hand spin it and then run away, I have to rush over to the grease gun and give it a couple squeezes. The type of grease you want to use, uh, it's whatever, I couldn't find a recommendation. The biggest recommendation I could find to put the desk cut back on was make sure it's high temperature. Yeah. Then there's some concern too that uh, what kind of grease was in there before. I guess that would be a good reason to make sure that all the grease comes out, the old grease. So you don't want two different kinds of greases mixing together and you take a look online. There's many different formulas of grease made out of many different substances. Very confusing. Let's put the dust cap back on. It just made it a lot easier between the dust cap and metal dust cap, I guess is what you want to call it. Because this part here is not easy to put on. So fair warning, if you try and take it off, it's going to be a pain to put it back on. It just clips in there, but it would be easier if the rim was off and you could just put it on from the other side, pop it through. So I had to kind of wiggle it and fendangle it and whatever else they want to call it. Oh, that went in way too easy. Because some of the other ones I was fighting for a few minutes. Wipe it up a little bit. Should be good. At least I hope so. They suggest every 12 months or 12,000 miles. And then on to the other wheel. Probably take, uh, I don't know, an hour to do all four of them. That would be a good amount. Of... And then I just put the jack down, pushed it a little further in, and did the next wheel. So it's something I think you could do. Uh, it would have been easier if I would have had somebody to spin the tire the whole time, because you can't really see, but if you're really paying attention to spinning, then I go to the grease gun. <laughs> Give it a spin again, then the grease gun. So, and as I said, I probably did 100 squirts, 100 pumps of that grease gun per wheel. Uh, it's not suggested to use anything like the electric ones because you might uh, put too much in at once and it'll blow the seal out the back and then you can have a big mess. Anyway, if you like the video, why not give me the thumbs up? You can also subscribe down in the corner, you know that. Uh, if you are new to, I have a playlist, so put it up here. Uh, some RV stuff I started working on. I've had a few different RVs. We're not full-time RVers, obviously. It's just kind of a hobby, just like fixing things. But maybe you can learn from some of my mistakes, just like this thing with, you know, I should let more grease out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uncle Mark saying bye-bye for now. Remember to be safe. Your safety is your responsibility and should be priority number one. Also, give me the thumbs up if you like the video. Plus, please subscribe. And you'll get all the notifications. It's easy. The little dog will show you how. Ring the bell. Ring the bell.
One, two, three, whoa. One, two, three, four, Uncle Mark. 